like a teenager. No, I'm not suggesting the boy doesn't want to go in the army. It's just that... No, I didn't mean to... I wasn't trying to... Two weeks from today, at the induction center. He'll be there. Oh, Rose, thank God you've come. It's the end of the Alamo Music Corporation. Conrad Bird is going into the army. And your faithful secretary is hereby submitting her resignation. Huh? I just dropped in to say goodbye, Albert, darling. Lots of luck. Rose, you can't leave me today. Oh, my pills. Where are my pills? The little white ones I take when I'm overwrought? Here. Not so much. Break it in half. You're 33 years old, Albert. You can take a whole aspirin. I'm not 33. I'm a long way from 33. I won't be 33 till tomorrow. Water? That's no use, Albert. I've been with Alma Luke eight years now, and as you well know, I've been much more than a secretary to you. Rose, those were moments of madness. Well, between the moments of madness in the office, I put in a good 90-hour week. And for what? A $5 raise in 1954 and a bottle of apergé last Christmas? Promise or anything, we'll give her apergé, Rose. Yeah, but not a sixteenth of an ounce. <laughs> Besides, I want something more than that. Rose, if you're referring to a more permanent nature between us, I'm not ready for it. Besides, there are religious differences. Spanish is not a religion. <laughs> And if it's part of the company you're after, the answer is no to that too. Our Lou is me, Mama, and Lou. And any change in it would kill that sweet woman who bore me. Nothing could kill your mother, Albert, except maybe a silver bullet. <laughs> and I won't drop poor old Lou either. He loved you, Rose. And I love Lou. Sure, he was warm, he was lovable, he was loyal. But he died six years ago. And besides, he was a wire hair terrier. <laughs> no. What I want is something much more important. Rose, if you're going to discuss what I think you're going to discuss, I'm in no mood to discuss it. There's nothing to discuss, Albert. Conrad Bird is going into the Army. I've quit. The only thing left me to do is Rose, I'm up to my ears in debt. Conrad's got a $50,000 guarantee, which I can't pay for. And I've just had a severe overdose of aspirin. Albert, this may be your last chance. Will you listen to me, Albert? Is going in the army is the best thing you can do. Now you're free to start to do what you want to do. Albert, Albert, Albert. I remember how you told me I should trust you for a year. It would just be for a year, but it's eight years, Albert. Eight long years, Albert. It's time to establish a business. It was only a sideline. That's what you said. You.
make a deal with you. Stay with me. Help me get the money to pay for Conrad's guarantee. And as soon as I'm out of the red, I'll dissolve the company and go back to the academic world. Albert, you're on. Of course, it might take a few years, but I'm sure by 1973 or 74 at the latest, well, <coughs> what's that? Pick a name. Pick a name? What are you talking about? All right, I'll pick one for you. McAfee. Kim McAfee, age 15, president and reporting secretary of the Conrad Murray Fan Club, number 2742, of Sweet Apple, Ohio. Mary, give me Sweet Apple, Ohio. The number's capital 7, double 02. And call me right back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's Kim whatever her name is? Kim McAfee, Albert, is what's going to send you back to college with the biggest hit song this business has ever seen. It's called One Last Kiss. I've never heard of it. That's because you haven't written it. But when you do, and when that one last kiss comes from Conrad Murray on his way to the big coal army for two long years, and when he gives that kiss to one of his fans chosen at random from 1,200,000 hysterical teenagers, it'll make Mr. Birdie the hottest soldier since Joan of Arc. <laughs> Rose, I'm beginning to see it. We'll cut the record here in New York. Take that greasy bongo playing car thief to Sweet Apple. <laughs> Let him kiss the kid. And release the record. Albert, you'll make enough money to stay in college the rest of your life. Oh. Rose, it's wonderful. And I promise, as soon as all this is through, it'll be just you and me, Rose. In perfect place. I'll get a job teaching English and... Wait a minute. Bliss? Kiss? That rocks! I wonder if anyone's ever used it before. <laughs> oh, what difference does it make? It'd be great for the record. Oh, one last kiss, it brings so much bliss. What is your dentifrice? <laughs> now to play.
I don't know. Yesterday I was a mother. Today I'm a pal. Are you, are you sure you would like to call me mom? That's modern. I'm sorry, but times are changing, and you've either got to go along with it or be left behind with the old folks. Oh, by the way, Doris, do you have this cigarette? I've seen to have run out. <laughs> I'm not an old man. I was 18 in World War II. <laughs> Conrad, Bertie is coming. Here? To kiss me? Doris! Mother! Mommy! Baby, baby, what's wrong with it? It's Conrad, Mommy! He's coming here to kiss me! Oh, that's nice, dear. Now you just have the air put your head and Mommy, Mommy, you don't understand! Conrad Bertie is coming here to Sweet Apple to kiss me! Goodbye, oh, Mommy, Mommy! Put on a happy 
right before he goes. Uh, can you take that old man down and try? Rose, what are you doing? Just getting our luggage to the station without any help from you, Albert. Oh, Rose, I'm sorry. I don't suppose a generous tip would help make things up, would it? <laughs> Just take your briefcase and get down to the station before any of those reporters talk to Comrade alone. You, you know what happened last time. You hold on to it, Rose. I've got to wait for Mama. Speaking of your mother, Albert, have you told her about solving Alpalu yet? I couldn't, Rose. Yesterday was the anniversary. Of what? <clears throat> Lou. Six years ago, he was hit on 181st Street Broadway by a loaded beer truck. Yeah, Lou. <laughs> you don't suppose that's Mama, do you? It's either her or the all clear. Yeah, Lou. Sonny. Mama. Well, what's the matter? Oh, nothing's the matter. I'm just a little beat from the subway. Uh, I told you to take a taxi. Taxi? What do I need with taxis? I'll save the taxis for my successful son. A mother can ride crowded in a dirty subway full of foreigners who wouldn't give you a seat if your life depended on it. <laughs> but what's the difference? Nowadays, a mother is lower than value anyway. Here's the money I saved from not taking that taxi. Buy some candy with it. Huh? <laughs> Who's she? Ma, do you remember Rose Alvarez from the office? This is Rosie Alvarez. Pretty? Little Rosie Alvarez? I can't believe it. Excuse me, Albert. I think I'll go see if Comrade's here. I will meet this Alvarez. Look at us, Sunny. How nice she looks. Why, a personal matron with brains a few dollars? What a petty be. Come, bless you. Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye, May. Call me Mrs. Peterson. <laughs> Ma, what I wanted to talk to you about is sort of about Rose. Uh, maybe you better sit down. Why should I sit down? I know my sonny. He loves his mama. He isn't going to say anything that will break her heart. <laughs> what about Rose? Well, it's sort of about Lou, too. Lou? <coughs> Lou? Where are you, Lou? Struck down by a beverage I faithfully consumed for 32 years? <laughs> what about me? Um, well, you see, my Rose thinks that I should dissolve out of What's the matter? Oh, nothing's the matter. You just killed me, it's all. Lou? I'm coming, Lou. I'm on my way out. No, I, you don't understand. You see, you see Rose thinks, and I agree that I... We, Look, Mom, here's some money. Take a cab home. The subways are too crowded. Nothing's too crowded for a mother. I'll be doing rush hour. It's the worst time. <laughs> Wait, how many blocks is it? Only 137? I'll walk. Come on. I'll take care of Sunny. Eat a hot lunch. Wear your rubbers and wear your heavy coat. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, I thought you were going to break it to her gently. As a matter of fact, Rose, I didn't tell her at all. <sighs> you mean you didn't? He's coming, he's coming, Father Albert Bird is coming. Hi, I'm coming.
Church each Sunday and he doesn't touch a drop. 